Okay, so um, this is uh, what we're using to shoot that. This is actually a, uh, <laughs> a modified candy cannon. Uh, the way this works is you, first off, you've got a little uh, just a ABS foam sabot that goes in here. And uh, if I had a broom or something, you tamp it down so it goes all the way down in there. And then, um, so that, that, that'll go down here. That kind of gives it a good plug so it gets all the material out. Um, after that, you just take whatever it is. Um, I've just got a piece of paper, fold it up into a funnel, put it here, and just, you know, measure it out and pour it in. Like, the, the first one, the really awesome one you saw, was uh, four cups of unnamed brand non-dairy creamer. Um, the, some of the second ones were, I think I yelled it out at the beginning of the videos, but a couple of the second, so, yeah, the, some of the other ones were, um, Cornstarch, I just put a whole pack in for this, which is 16 ounces, so that's two cups for uh, each of those. And then uh, a few of those were uh, flour. I think the first one was maybe two cups, and the second one was maybe four, or something along those. I, I shouted it out at the beginning of the video. But the, the first one, the best one, was uh, this stuff right here. That, uh, that really went. Uh, I had some trouble at the beginning with the ignition source. Like, I was trying, like, a little butane lighter. Um, on a stick the first time with a little blowtorch and it just wasn't doing it. So we got uh, Phil's uh, giant smudge pot. He's cleaning it out by burning off the oil. So we just had like a big fire going. So uh, somewhere in between tiny flame and that thing is probably the appropriate amount. So um, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but that works well enough. So we're going with that for now. Um, this, uh, one thing to know about this design, the first time I tried it, uh, I just hooked, I just hooked a, um, the quick uh, pneumatic quick connect up to the bottom like and just had one tube and just a little valve to go but that doesn't work because uh, the, the the little core the pneumatic tubing coming from the compressor and the size of the valves and stuff that there's just not you can't get enough airflow to go through to get um, to get enough air to really flump this out so this design was a candy cannon we had sitting around and the way this works is you have two chambers. This is the fill chamber and this is the actual shooting chamber. So this is where the sabot is and where you pour your material in. Put in candy or t-shirts or in this case flammable dusts. Uh, and this is the charging chamber. Um, and what you do here is it's got a little bicycle pump but you could use pretty much anything you can use to charge these. Um, you hook it up and you pressurize this chamber and then there's a valve here that you have off. So let's see, right now it's on. So you have it off and we lost the handle to it but you could need in. Yeah, we lost the handle to it, but um, normally you'd have like a handle so you didn't have to use a pair of pliers, but this is the Maggers logo. <laughs> Not all our stuff is brand new. Anyway, so you turn this off, you charge this up, so this is pressurized, and then you have a nice, big, thick um, passageway for the air. So you have a lot of air already built up here. So instead of having to go through that tiny little like quarter inch tubing and blow it out, you have a big like pipe full, and then you do this and it all goes rushing out. So uh, that's that's how you get enough actual oomph to really blow this out, uh, blow out that kind of quantity. Otherwise, like I said, I just kind of got a little breeze yesterday. I was like, this is not working at all. So, um, yeah, you need that. Basically a pneumatic capacitor uh, and a big enough fire to light it is the secret to getting this to work. But other than that, just... Um, you know, you got your safety gear. You can tell, like, I hate wear, I hate warm clothes. So you can tell I'm in safety gear because I got um, long sleeve cotton shirt and pants because they're flame retardant. Now. Nice little face shield here just in case. Um, I don't think it wound up being quite that dangerous, but, you know, you can never over safety these things just in case it comes back and burns your eyebrows off. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much how this is put together. So uh, be careful and have fun building your own. What? Oh, I'm John Kelly, yeah. just in case you didn't know by the, where this video is at. But I'm John Kelly, and this place you see here is the Makers Local 256 in Huntsville, Alabama.